Hello and welcome to another episode of David Rides a Trike. I'm David and I'm riding a trike. My videos try to provide a little motivation to people with chronic illnesses and disabilities to get out, find some fun form of exercise to help make them feel better. Sometimes this exercise can be therapeutic and it usually turns out to be a lot of fun. Personally, I fall into both the chronically ill and disabled categories. I was diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic when I was a year and a half old, although when I was 41, I had a pancreas transplant and was technically cured of diabetes. In all, I've had three organ transplants. I've had stage 3 cancer. I'm legally blind. I've almost been done in by a severe infection and I've had more surgeries, procedures and maladies than I can even keep track of anymore. So the other day I was thinking about how I got to this point of having a YouTube channel and it all started when right around the time I ordered this trike back in 2013 I started watching Graham Williams came across him on YouTube he's he lives in England outside of London um, and he and he's a triker and he had hundreds of videos on YouTube already riding in the countryside outside of London riding through London sometimes alone sometimes with friends and I was just fascinated by these watching these videos I sat mesmerized the video quality wasn't very good he I think he was using a flip video recorder but nonetheless I would just enchanted with these and I would sit and watch them for long periods of time usually when I should have been trying to sleep around the same time I came across Matt Gallett and his Jayo Nation YouTube channel Matt is an expat originally from the US he now lives in China he's married has a little girl and he embarked on a round-the-world trike trip and it wasn't just a straight line trip he was trying to do he was trying to go to many many countries explore them and it was really a travel channel and his traveling was all done on a trike his videos were much much better had much higher production values Matt was on camera a lot explaining things and it was another channel I just got addicted to learning about cultures and foreign cultures and history seeing all this stuff I really wasn't all that aware of for example he lives in a city called Ningbo and I had heard the name of the city but I had no idea it's a city of over 8 million people very modern and uh, unfortunately for Matt he's had to stop his trip several times once after getting hit from behind by a truck um, he was lucky it hit his trailer but nonetheless he ended up with a severely broken shoulder surgery that laid him up for a while but he headed out again and right now he's back at home because of the pandemic he's not able to make any travel videos although he's still producing videos and doing some traveling within China but before he was sidelined from the pandemic he had ridden extensively through parts of Asia including Japan South Korea 
He even went into North Korea to run a marathon, I believe. Uh, Thailand, Vietnam, and he was in Malaysia when he went home to celebrate Chinese New Year's with his family there. And it was right when the pandemic hit China. And uh, that's been it for his traveling so far. Then another person I started watching was Sylvia Halpern and her travels by trike. She was also a travel vlogger doing so on a trike. But unlike Matt Gallett, she, wa she would fly or somehow get conveyed to a foreign country and she would bring her trike with and would tour around on her trike. Her videos, like Matt's, were kind of a combination of uh, them being on camera and seeing the surrounding area and a little bit of history. Also, both Sylvia and Matt make very good use out of drone footage. They both have drones and some of the footage they get from the drones are really beautiful and amazing. And then the fourth person I wanted to mention is Gary Solomon. And Gary's channel is a little different. He hosts a pretty much monthly live show on YouTube called The Laid Back Bike Report. And he covers all the news and updates in the recumbent world, both Sorry, I've got uh, an announcement talking in my ear, <laughs> telling me how far I've ridden so far. Uh, Gary's channel is a live show, and he covers a lot of industry news, what's new in triking, both two-wheel and two-wheel recumbents and trikes. He has a lot of guests on. Actually, I was once a guest on his show. And because it's live, you can ask questions. And once the show has been completed, they're still there on YouTube for you to watch. You can't ask them questions anymore, although maybe you can in the comments section, but it's not live. So I would watch these channels and I was very intrigued. And a lot of this happened after this period of my life where I had had my second kidney transplant, cancer, I had a, another major surgery for a bowel blockage, uh, a lot of medical issues were going on at the time. And throughout all that stuff, and for the, and for the last probably 10 years of my life, some of my friends and family would say to me, you know, with all you've been through, you know, you're still here, you're still happy, etc. You should really write a book. And, you know, not trying to sound like I outdid anybody, but I've had quite a few medical, major medical situations in my life, and I've managed to get through them all. Uh, dare say I've had considerably more than most people. So I did start writing a book, and I wrote quite a bit, but I was trying to just tell my stories, what I'd been through, how I felt, that kind of thing. And I kind of hit a stone wall. And then, as I was watching these videos, I was thinking, you know, that really looks like fun. Maybe I could record some videos, document my rides, and just tell stories about what I've been through and try to help people that way. I've really tried to avoid 
giving advice. Uh, that is, I, I don't, I don't want to preach. So I tell my stories, what happened to me, how I got through it, how I felt, the good and the bad, and started putting those stories out there. And here I am, not quite a year later, I've got about 50 videos up. I try to do them on a weekly basis. And obviously from the responses I've gotten, there's a lot of people out there like me and a lot of people who like my channel, which I greatly appreciate. Now, since I started my channel, I've come across several other much smaller vloggers, um, ones like me, as opposed to Matt Gallett and Sylvia and Gary Solomon, who have thousands. I think Matt Gallant probably has over 100,000 subscribers already. But I came across several that I watch regularly. The first one is a guy I've become friends with, Greg. His channel is called The Mile High Triker. He's located out near Denver, and thus the name. And like me, he's had physical disability problems, but he rides a trike and it's hard for him. It's painful, but mentally, like a lot of people say, it clears his head and makes him feel better that way. Another one that I watch is called Pedal Pushin Alaska. It's actually listed as Pedal Pushin, no G, A K. And I'll leave links for all of these channels down below. But this is a gentleman up in Alaska near Anchorage who, at the start of winter, got himself a an ice full fat trike which is a fat tire trike and he rode through the Alaskan winter and certainly unlike me and unlike a lot of people I think he would ride as long as the temperature was about was above zero degrees Fahrenheit and there's videos of him riding in snow and I think all of his videos practically have snow on the ground. Some of them it's snowing, some of them the temperature, as I say, is like 10 degrees and below zero with the wind chill. And I find these fascinating just because, A, his attitude, he's out there in weather that, frankly, a lot of us wouldn't be out there in. And the beauty of the Alaskan winter is really breathtaking. So I find those very, very intriguing to watch as well. The next person in this group of triking vloggers, and all of us started around the same time, this group that is, not the previous four. Um, this one is called The Motivated Rider, and it's a gentleman out in, I forget, one of the Carolinas, I believe, who rides an ICE VTX, and his videos on your left, his videos are similar to Graham Williams in that their point of view. Most of the time you're just getting his view up ahead and he rides on a lot of the area trails around him which all look beautiful. He actually recently got a drone as well and is incorporating drone footage into it and he sometimes will have a little section 
during or at the beginning of a ride where he's just sitting down and talking to you, explaining one thing or another. Hang on here. On your left. And finally, this last triking vlogger is actually I is actually a young family, a young couple, and their two little kids, a boy and a girl. They're in Serbia, and uh, mom and dad ride trikes. Most of the uh, most of the dialogue is done by the mom and it's called Family Adventures on Trikes. And it's just what it sounds like. It's them riding around where they live, sometimes going out a little further. The dad usually is towing the two kids behind his trike in a trailer. And the older one now, the boy, is able to ride a bike. and. He spends some of the time on some of these videos riding. They're really the only ones who are not on the older middle age or old side of the age spectrum. Oh, sorry, Matt Gallet. You're middle aged, I think. <laughs> um, but again, it's really fun, you know. You get to see a lot of Serbia, and they go. Sometimes they go out to eat. They do a lot of different things. The dad is uh, pretty handy. There's one video they did recently where he fabricated a system so that he could put both his and his wife's trike on the roof of their car, so that they could drive and take the trike their trikes places so on your left so those four along with me are kind of the new crop of triking vloggers we all started right around the same time with our channels and I really believe each one has a different theme and a lot of positive things to see and to watch and they're really fun. So I'll list them all below and you can check them out. And you know, in doing this channel, you guys, the viewers, are a huge part of this community. You know, it's pretty amazing. I hear from people, a lot of times I don't even know their names. I don't even know if they're male or female. I've made friends and I consider you guys friends all over the world. You know, I'm in the Chicago area in the U.S. But here's a guy up in Alaska, Greg out in Colorado. Uh, there's people I hear from regularly in Australia, there's a guy in Thailand, um, all over the world, Malaysia, there's a gentleman that I hear from on almost every one of my videos, he leaves a comment. And it's really amazing because everyone is so nice, doesn't matter if you're man, woman, what color your skin is, religion, that's all out the window and it really reinforces, I don't know who said it first, but it really reinforces the fact that we have way more in common than we have differences. And I think there's a lot to be learned from that as well as a lot to be appreciated about it. Okay, I'm off my soapbox. That's it for this episode. Please check out these other channels when you have a chance. I highly recommend all of them. 
think you'll find something enjoyable to watch. That's it, and I will see you on the next ride. Bye-bye.